What's good y'all? She gets this Erica Vane back again with another amazing all-American video and in this video I am breaking down the preview for episode 5. Let's get into it. All right y'all if you haven't already make sure that you go and check out my episode 4 breakdown. It is on the channel right now as well as check out my live. I did a live after show to talk with y'all about the episode 4, how you felt about it, what you think going into episode 5 and it's a really great video so I want you to go ahead and check it out if you are new here listen i am your resident all american good sis well actually erica Vane tv is talking about a lot of amazing television we're talking about queens queen sugar the 4400 sisters power bmf you name it i'm talking about it so go ahead and hit the subscribe button turn on your bell notification so that you don't miss any of my new hot videos giving you all of the best coverage of all of the best television and film you're gonna love it here i promise go ahead hit the subscribe button and one of my specialties on this channel is breaking down the ins and outs and all around of all american and without further ado let's talk about this preview y'all they give us these little 15 second trailers that's not given enough but we're gonna have to work with it i am stressed at the end of episode four we saw that the toledo state coach coach hudson coach hater coach ho man i said it is being ridiculous doesn't want to let spencer up out of his commitment and is frustrated that now spencer is not grateful for the opportunity this golden opportunity and he wants out so at the start of this trailer we get an, a voiceover from spencer that says ain't no coach gonna want to make me an offer now and then we get clips throughout the trailer of just seeing spencer on the crenshaw field with billy we also get to see jj for a moment and i think that billy is basically putting together not like the combine but something like unofficial but like the combine and he's creating a space for players who have yet to be recruited i think to actually show what they can do so similar to what we saw in season two with the combine we are going to see something like that in this episode and i think jj is here because he's also trying to get recruited now uh, we haven't seen jordan in the actual trailer but we might wind up seeing jordan because he's trying to find a juco home and now that spencer has decommitted he's trying to drum up more offers so we're seeing him compete with a couple of these runs and a little bit of physical activity and I definitely think that this is what this is. If you missed it I actually did a synopsis 5 breakdown on the channel where before this even came out I talked about what we could expect from the synopsis as it read on the page and in the synopsis it says Billy helps devise a contingency plan for Spencer after he receives some unsettling news about his future and I think that that is literally what this is. That's what we see because we also get a voiceover from Billy where he says you will be forced to sit out your whole freshman year and he's really just explaining what's the result of decommitting to Toledo State now that Toledo doesn't want to actually release him and if you want further clarity into how this is actually possible how this is actually legal go and check out my can Spencer change his mind video I actually did a video breaking down the NCAA rules a few weeks ago and shout out to the amazing subbies who watched that video and then after watching episode four literally post a comment like Erica you said that this would happen because I did I told everybody what the actual rules were and that this is what would result if Spencer actually backed out of it because that was my reason for not wanting him to sign to begin with so shout out to y'all for being subscribed to the channel and actually watching my videos I love you guys so very much like if you're new here that just shows you you should go ahead and subscribe too join the tribe it's lit here I promise okay we also get moments with Coop in this episode and we get a voiceover from her where she's saying for some people walking away it's worth it it depends on what you got to lose and honestly I really cannot wait for them to get through this whole storyline with Coop giving up like I just it's dragging on at this point it's getting a little monotonous and it was great to see her actually apologize to Layla in the last episode because she was being entitled and a brat and ridiculous after quitting rap but now it's also like well sis what are you going to do because part of it is I get it your lungs are not where they're supposed to be or they're not where they were before you got shot but I don't really understand giving up when you don't even have anything like you don't have nothing else sis you don't have nothing else better to do you've already graduated or got your 
your GED. You ain't doing nothing all day. You no longer watching Amina all day. Like you could still be writing even though you can't rap. You could still do other things because music is literally in your blood. And I'm just so over watching her wallow and try to bring everybody else around her down. It's like, Coop, can you give it a rest for a second, sis? A second, please. But in the synopsis, it reads, Layla makes patience an offer she wasn't expecting, forcing patience to have a long overdue conversation with Coop. And y'all, I'm hoping that this is a conversation that just tells Coop to get her freaking head out of her behind and get back to it, sis, because enough. Enough with this wallowing, enough with this woe is me, enough, Coop. Your time is up. Now it's time to rise like a phoenix, okay? And then before we actually end the trailer, we get a voiceover from Spencer saying, time is the one thing I don't have. And I think that hopefully this is a thought and a mindset that we're going to push against in this episode and he's going to be proven wrong because he's been operating from this space this whole time, which is why he actually signed to Toledo early because he thought, I have no other prospects. I'm running out of time. And I feel like this unrealistic pressure and weight of this false sense of time is weighing on him a little bit too much and pushing him to make desperate decisions versus aligned and grounded decisions. So I'm hoping that in this episode, things open up a bit and then he's also proven wrong because he does have more time than he think he does he is in a much better place than he think he is in all honesty I think Spencer needs to just release and go with the flow because at the end of the day not only is he a really great football player but he's also a really great student and yes you want to make it to the NFL you're going to make it there but you trying to force certain things or trying to push certain things it's not working out for you so at what point are you going to lean into your talent into your skill into your knowledge and just be bro like go with the flow and just be and I promise you the world will open up for you stop making these desperate ass decisions because then it has you sign into little whack jobs like coach Hudson and now we got to deal with this bs that's all I really got y'all <laughs> that is my preview for episode five I would love to know what y'all thought about the trailer let me know in the comment section down below if you haven't already I don't know what you wait for so I'm just gonna tell you to go ahead and subscribe but I'm just kind of confused as well as to why you not subscribe yet and why you added turn on the bell notifications because YouTube be tripping and you don't want to miss any of my videos we're definitely going to be talking with more videos throughout the week about what we can expect in episode five also with a few of storyline conversations as well so keep it locked it's your good sis Erica Vane coming to you with other amazing all-american videos every day i'll see you in the next one bye